So we're going to learn about a rule in statistics right now, which is called the 68-95-99.7 rule. Right, and this rule deals with uh, normal distribution, normally distributed data. So with normally distributed data, we have our normal distribution curve. Okay, So we come just like that. And in a normal distribution curve, our mean is right in the middle. And on each side, we have three standard deviations. There's one, two, three. OK, so here's our mean and then three standard deviations away from the mean on both sides. So what the 68, 99.7 rule tells us is about percentages underneath the, the curve. So if you um, add up all the area underneath the curve, it equals 100%. Um, this rule tells us that within, if you go um, to the left and to the right of the mean, one standard deviation in both ways, um, the amount of area in that space is equal to 68%. So that's this, all this space right here is equal to 68%. If you go out to two standard deviations, right, out to two in both directions, that's going to equal 95% if you come all the way out here. Right, that's including the area um, going from the mean to both standard deviations. And then the third one is if you go out to three standard deviations on both sides. So now you have all this area and you have all of this area going out to the third standard deviation. That is equal to 99.7% of the area underneath the curve. So that's what the rule tells us. And it always works in normal distri uh, normally distributed data. If you don't know that your data is normally distributed, you can't use the rule. Um, but if we do know, we have normal distribution, we can use this rule to then start answering some questions that we might have, right? And so let's say that, um, let's say you're out of school and after some, doing some research, you find that the, um, for test taking times for the students, you find that the average test taking time is 70 minutes and that it has a standard deviation of 10 minutes. Okay, so we can draw our normal distribution curve. This is assuming that our data is normally distributed, of course. Um, so we draw our normal distribution curve. We put our mean right in the middle, like always. We're gonna call that 70 minutes, because that's our, that's our average, that's the mean that we found. Um, and then at each standard deviation, we're going out 10 minutes. So going to the right, we're adding on 10 minutes. So first standard deviation is 80 minutes, then 90, then 100 minutes. And then going to the left is the same thing. We have our three standard deviations. We're going distance 10 minutes. So we have 60 minutes, then 50, and then 40. Right, and so, um, so 68, 95, 9.7 is going to tell us that, um, for example, 95% of the students that take a test in this school are going to finish their test within 50 and 90 minutes, right? Because that's two standard deviations away from the mean both directions. So 95% of the students that take the test are going to finish within 50 minutes and 90 minutes. So what if the question asked, what percent of students will finish under 50 minutes, right? So if you're gonna if you're gonna give a test, if the professor is gonna give a test, and he or she wants to know what percent of students will finish under 50 minutes, we can use the 68959.7 rule to answer that. And so we notice. So the question is asking 50 minutes, right? So 50 minutes that is at the second. That is two standard deviations away from the mean, right? So we know that two standard deviations away from the mean in both directions, right? That is going to equal 95% of the area, right? The area that we want to know, right, what percent of students will finish under 50 minutes 
we want to know how much area, how much percentage is this area right there? Well, if all the area underneath the curve is 100% and the area underneath the curve within two standard deviations is 95%, most stands to reason that, um, that this area and which is to the left of the second standard deviation and this area which is to the right of the second standard deviation is going to be 100% minus 95%, which will give us 5% left. Okay? But that's both of the areas, both of the tails of the normal distribution curve. We only want this one. This is the one we're interested in. And because the normal distribution curve is symmetrical, both tails are equal, we can simply take the 5% divided by 2 to get rid of this one, and we're left with 2.5%. So what area, what percent of the students will finish their test in under 50 minutes? What's this area here? 2.5% of the students will finish a test in under 50 minutes. And so you can use this um, with other questions too. What percent of students will finish in over 80 minutes, right? Over 80 minutes is on the first um, standard deviation. So you're gonna use the same thing. Um, one standard deviation away from the mean is 68% of the area. Well, if we want this area right here, right, and we know that this we know that this area is 68%, then we can do the same exact thing. We can go 100% minus, not 80, 68%, and that will give us 32%. Again, we want to divide this by two because we don't want this, we don't want this area right here. We're just worried about this area right here. So we divide that by two and we get 16%. So 16% of the students will finish their test in over 80 minutes, right? So that's how you can use the 68.95.99.7 rule with normally distributed data to answer questions such as these.